PoE is a complex game, and there are some really cool builds out there that make use of interesting mechanical synergies. Ward Loop is one such build that has recently risen to popularity. It's incredibly strong, and even more so complicated, so here it is, explained in 2 minutes. Heartbound Loop deals you up to 4 20 fizz damage on minion death. This damage is used to create a cast when damage taken loop to trigger a bunch of spells for giga damage. The loop is created with a low level cast when damage taken setup that spawns super low duration skeletons, which, thanks to Heartbound Loop, damages you when they expire, thus proccing the cast when damage taken setup once again along with other higher level cast when damage takens attached to your damaging spells. Forbidden Rite can also be used in a cast when damage taken setup to meet the damage taken requirements for a high level cast when damage taken. To not die to the incoming thousands of damage a second, we get a bunch of Ward, a base defense which can only be scaled with increased global defenses. Ward acts as a buffer that absorbs damage before your life, much like ES, but it breaks and goes on cooldown after one hit. This ward is made permanent using this flask. You want to avoid flask effect cause it'll increase the less ward multiplier on it. The flask gets 100% uptime using the Trader Timeless Keystone and some medium clusters. This means that if you have enough ward, you don't lose any life while also technically taking damage to proc all your castman damage taken setups. Ward will block up to its total on every instance of damage you take. Each skeleton death will deal you an instance of damage equaling the number on your heartbound loop. This number is affected by armor, so make sure you account for even the smallest amount. If you run two, they are added up as one instance of damage. Make sure you have enough ward to block the largest instance between your skeletons or Forbidden Right, with some recoup, you'll be able to sustain your mana and have more than enough life recovery to permanently run Righteous Fire. Okay, let's talk about cooldowns. Castman Damage Taken has an inbuilt 0.25 second cooldown. The server tick rate is set at 0.033 seconds, so things in the game will only update in increments of 0.033 seconds. That means that cooldown reduction only matters when it reduces your Castman Damage Taken cooldown down to the next breakpoint. Remember those skeletons? Make sure their duration is within the same tick rate bracket as your castman damage taken cooldown, using a combination of some sources of reduced and less duration and a couple 2 dust jewels. To start the loop, just swap to a weapon with the Insanity Essence mod, and swap back to kill the minions it creates. Hopefully this will help you understand the mechanics enough to fix issues yourself or make your own build. Also, if I got anything wrong or if you have any questions, leave a comment.